Hello everyone, I am Ankur Gupta and this is my 7th video on Jasper reports. In this video, I will be talking about how to use scriptlets in Jasper reports and how, how as an utility will it act in our reports. It, will, it is very helpful providing customizations to reports like uh, manipulating some data or some or some variable or field based on conditional queries which can't be achieved in Jasper reports. So scriptlets are there to save the day. It will just uh, basically it uh, acts as a interface to Jasper reports which connects Java to Jasper reports. So to start with Let me tell you about what are scriptlets. Basically, scriptlet, when the, anybody comes across this word, thinks something about scripting or something. But in simple words, scriptlet acts as a simple interface between Java and Jasper reports, basically a bridge between them. So, like any kind of manipulation could be easily achieved via scriptlet. And in scriptlets, uh, there are two classes which are basically used. How we could use it? It's a normal class. It's a normal Java class. Just it needs to be extended using JR default scriptlet or JR abstract scriptlet. Now, the difference in both of them are basically these two uh, default scriptlet, JR default scriptlet, is having all the functions which are implemented which which uh, functions could be chosen upon like over there are sev several override functions i will talk about later those could be chosen in the jr default scriptlet and used according to the developer but in the abstract scriptlet you need to implement all the all the functions override functions as you know abstract class needs implementation so there is comes some difference over there so that's totally upon the usage like if you want all of them so all of them could be used so basically it's a simple class extended with jr default scriptlet or jr abstract scriptlet so moving on let me tell you what can be achieved by a scriptlet in jasper reports now it gives an unique uh, functions like uh, which could manipulate fields even fields you are retrieving via data source you could manipulate in here in your uh, jasper uh, in your scriptlet from the jasper reports and send it to back to the jasper report so uh, give dynamism dynamism to the report next is variable manipulation now the variables which we create in jasper reports are set uh, set via counting or some some average or whatever may be the case but point is like you need to manipulate it upon some uh, some point like you could easily use uh, use in your uh, user uh, variables in your uh, scriptlet and produce some other results which could be calculated via jasper again the report data could be manipulated like you could create your user defined functions user defined functions are basically functions which needs to be uh, written by user and it could be called in the Jasper reports. And I have already uh, provided a video about user defined functions. You could just check it out. I have placed the link in the de description. So uh, next is like we could even include JFC such as JFC is like JFC stand for Java Foundation Components. So like Swing, etc. And I will in an example show you how to like use Swing. You can even uh, see uh, things in iReport itself because it also iReport or Jaspersoft Studio contains its own console. So therein all the contents of the console could be seen. Like if, when you run the report, it's like running a class in Java and so on. That's the concept basically. Now how to achieve this uh, these customizations using scriptlet. Now there are basically two kind of uh, methods like 
for few i said a predefined functions or the over which could be overridden by us others are user defined functions so user defined functions first of all let me tell about user defined functions user defined functions are functions like which we have written for our purpose these are normal functions just it returns something or it's a void whatever may be the case and the scriptlet which is used is basically returning the values from the scriptlet to the report so it should have a return type that's a must for a user defined function if you want to see values from the user defined function another one is predefined functions so now in the predefined functions uh, as i said is could be overridden according to our needs now these are functions which are basically uh, set on the uh, trigger of the report timing basically after report or before report let me just show you how what are these predefined functions so these this is the list of predefined functions this you could see like before report in it after report in it as the name suggests itself like before report in it would trigger when report is run and before the initialization of report this function is encountered so uh, same goes for after report initialization and so we could place our things or organize our things whatever we want to get it printed or whatever function or things we want to do like if we, like a simple example could be like before report initialization suppose there are sticky there is sticky uh, counter you have used in your scriptlet now it needs to be refreshed every time when the report runs so for that matter you could simply write uh, before report in, in a before report in it uh, scope you could simply initialize that uh, sticky variable to zero so that it refreshes the value and produces the correct result it was just a simple example could be implemented on any base so as you see these are uh, based on some or group column page report and detail basically these are the point where these get encountered and according to the timing they get executed now user defined function as i have already talked if you want to know more then you could just go to the previous video of mine uh, explaining the user defined functions uh they contain a complete description how to implement the user defined functions so i will now show a demo using i report and net beans in this demo i will be using uh, the predefined functions overridden functions also a user defined function but not the implementation of user defined function in the report itself uh, for that you could just go to the previous video and check that out i have also attached a sample in the previous video along so you could just try it out first of all let me just show you this this is the scriptlet basically so in this you could see uh, let me just show you how does it looks like this is a simple report i am using the sample database over here now before using this you you just need to set the class path the jar file of the of the scriptlet itself into the class path and you are good to go then you could directly uh, mention the qualified path and like uh, this is a scriptlet node i have already placed the qualified path over there as you could see the package name is scriptlet and the class name is custom scriptlet now let me just this is a simple uh, script this simple report let me just review it as you could see this is a swing panel uh, pop up box coming like you show you can see the name id and cost for the first record and and the below are the variables like column count cost page count this cost i have created on my own this is user defined rest others are created by already present 
now this is 25 records i am getting fetching it from this report this uh, database this is a sample database called product now here i could see like i have set this page in it to this is the time this is the current time which is going on like how much time have we started execution then i have entered before column after column these are getting encountered as as and when this uh, count, column count are going on this total time taken is the time uh, which report took to generate and after report is again this and this is let me just tell you what is this now as we could see here i have mentioned variable value initially now this is the cost variable of the report which is initially set by me as 10 and via scriptlet i am setting it to via scriptlet i am setting it to 52 and I have put that function into the uh, into the function called after detail. So after the detail is executed, this 10 is changed to 52 by scriptlet. And other thing which I want to show you is like uh, this cost is here. And let me show, move on to the code. In the code, as you could see, there are override functions before page in it, after page in it, report in it. Uh, this is a custom defined function by me. This gets the last page time basically, which I'm printing as a total time taken by to execute for the report. And, and this was the function generating the swing panel. Now what I have done is, this is a fields map function now this allows me to get the map of all the fields in the report and just uh, run a loop over here and uh, i am just printing those those field and the value over there and there's a variable map for the same which contains all the variables and the value so it gives me field and get variable value is a function for getting the field name now get field value is getting the field name then what i have done is like i am throwing this execution interrupted by user if i press yes on that panel it automatically stops the execution of the report throwing this exception i will just show you in a while and this is how i am printing the total time taken after the page in it and so on and this was my function of uh, adding that uh, variable or cost now in here I'm getting int cost I'm getting the get variable val value of cost is equal to null if I'm checking it if it's null then I'm setting it to zero else the value is set to cost and this is set to 52 as we have seen at the last and this is after detail evaluation method and after detail variable, I print the cost. So this is all I have done for the scriptlet. Let me just show you that stopping the execution. If I reload it, if I stop the execution right here, then see it has given me execution interrupted by the user. So this is how a simple method could implement Java and all the Java Foundation classes into a uh, scriptlet, and you could use it throughout Jasper reports, which give I give it lots of dynamism basically. So that's that was all for the demo. Now, if you like my video, then you could just follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Ankur underscore AUG, or you could follow me on Facebook or LinkedIn. My Username there is Ankur Gupta, and I have a blog spot too, which contains all the uh, further posts and videos which I post online. Uh, for more Jasper knowledge, you could just go into my blog spot. My 
blogspot is www.ankurdetechie.blogspot.in or you could just g plus me thank you for watching